One of the capabilities I'm really excited about with Azure Security Center is the ability to manage a server's security posture that is not located in Azure. That server can be in Amazon Web Services, it could be a Google Cloud Platform, it could be on-premises, it could be anywhere. And so I wanna show you how do you onboard that external server into Azure Security Center. So the way you do that is using something called Azure Arc. This is really awesome. Now, Azure Arc is actually no charge. So there's no cost to using Azure Arc. You only get charged when you use a VM that you've imported in with Azure Arc and you use it with some of the other paid services like say Azure Security Center. So keep that in mind. Now, to use Azure Arc, it's really easy. I'm gonna to go to servers, I'm gonna click on add, and I've got two methods. I can either add servers at scale, which if I had a huge server farm, uh, maybe in another cloud or on-premises, I would use that, or I can use just this interactive script. So I'm gonna click on generate script, and I need to make sure that that server I'm gonna to connect to has access to port 443 and can uh, connect to these outbound URLs. There's a little bit of planning there. I also need to make sure I have local admin rights on that server. And then I need to create a resource group. So I created a resource group called ARC, <clears throat> and I told it that it's gonna live over here in uh, West US, and the OS is gonna be Windows. I could also do this for Linux. I'll save that for another video. And then if I need to have a proxy I need to use in that other environment, I can plug that in here. Uh, I'm not gonna do any tags, but then here's the script. So I'm gonna go ahead and copy that script, and I have a virtual machine running in AWS. So let's take a look at that VM. Uh, here we are in AWS, and I'm gonna paste that script in. And here's that script. And what this is gonna do is install a agent for Azure Arc on that server. So let's go ahead and run it. And as I run it, it's gonna tell me that I need to perform a uh, logon to an Azure service. So we'll give it just a moment to finish running, and you will see a little prompt here in just a moment. Okay, so it's done its connectivity checkpoints, and now it's ready to actually do the onboarding. So now I need to highlight and copy this URL, and we'll open it up in a web browser. And it's gonna ask me to type in the code from the PowerShell session. So here's the code, we'll just copy that and we'll type in the code. And that's going to start the process and then I just need to sign in here with my Azure Active Directory account to authenticate. And now I'm signed in, ready to go. So at this point, in just a few moments, the process will be complete, there it is and we've onboarded the server. So now if we switch back to Azure Arc, oh, and before we do, let's just grab the host name so we can identify this. So the host name is Arc AWS Demo. So now if we switch back over to Azure Arc and we close out of this and we go to our list of servers and hit refresh, there it is, Arc AWS Demo, it's connected. And when I click on it, I can manage it just like any other Azure resource, which is pretty awesome. I can even add custom extensions and deploy those. And then in about an hour or so, Azure Security Center will pick it up and it will be displayed here in the, in in the inventory. And then from there, I could start uh, applying things to it. So I've actually already done this with another VM in AWS, and that's this one here, this GM6. And when I open him up, um, here you can see some of the recommendations from, from that VM. Now, I've already deployed the log analytics agent to it. And when I did that, here's that VM. And when I did that, it actually onboarded it to uh, Microsoft Defender for Endpoint, formerly Windows Defender ATP. And there you can see the process uh, running on that VM in AWS, along with the Microsoft monitoring agent. And if we go back to our web portal here, we log into Defender for Endpoint, and we go to Device Inventory, there's that machine, so it was onboarded. So that's pretty cool. So uh, in just a little bit, this virtual machine that we just onboarded to Arc will be onboarded to Azure Security Center, 
And then from there, I can install the log analytics agent. I can onboard it to Defender for Endpoint and I can do uh, other things as well. Now, to manage it using Azure Security Center, if I wanna use something like Azure Defender, there's some additional settings I need to go through and configure. So if I go to pricing and settings here in Security Center, I actually need to create another log analytics workspace. So I'm using the same one I'm using for Sentinel. And in that log analytics workspace, I need to upgrade it to Azure Defender, the standard version, and I need to turn it on for servers, which is gonna be a cost per server per month. And then I, from here, I can adjust data collection. I could tell, you know, let's log all events and save it or just minimal, or whatever I want there. And then once I do that and I install the log analytics agent, it will then start to onboard to Defender for Endpoint and it will start to allow me to do other things here as well using Azure Defender. So really cool stuff. I wanna share something else with you. If we go back to Azure Arc for a moment <clears throat> and we go to pricing, I can also apply things like Azure Policy, which is super awesome because with Azure Policy, <clears throat> excuse me, I can go through and apply uh, different configuration policies. So if we go out here to Azure Policy and we could start defining that policy and customizing it for those servers that are not only in Azure, but also using servers that are onboarded with Azure Arc. So pretty awesome. I'm really excited about this. I hope you are too. Again, this is a way for you to get uh, non-Azure servers into Azure Security Center so you can manage the security posture and be able to uh, use Defender for Endpoint or EDR on those servers. Hope you found value in this. I love this stuff. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out. Got a lot more videos coming, so we'll see you in the next video. Take care.